The Tacoma Rescue Mission's lighthouse is coming down, and the folks here are not too happy about that. We've got the demolition and the details. A symbol of hope uh, for the homeless came down today, and the folks at Tacoma's Rescue Mission are extremely upset. They blame Sound Transit. New at 5, Cubble Force Lisa Jaffe reports on the lighthouse in the middle of a legal battle. I feel like the light is disappearing. The Tacoma Rescue Mission reluctantly removed its lighthouse that served as a symbol of hope to the down and out stumbling in darkness. It's just a sort of a punch in the gut. The symbol isn't safe. Uh, it's going to cost us about $60,000 to get this thing down. It's above an area where hundreds of homeless men eat and sleep, and structural engineers said the top part of the lighthouse had to go. The beacon was a ray of hope. I came here because I'd hit rock bottom. The mission contends its structure was fine until Sound Transit built its sounder line linking Lakewood to the Tacoma Dome right behind the shelter. Uh, all of a sudden we had five inches of settling happen and that meant that the lighthouse started leaning against the earthquake straps. And one corner of the dining room is five inches lower than the other. The rescue mission is suing Sound Transit and its main contractor. Sound Transit told me, based on a thorough review and on-site inspections, it doesn't believe damage was caused by its agency's construction activity and that its ongoing investigation indicates the mission didn't construct the building with its own designer's recommendations. There's more than a lighthouse at risk. A community lifeline could be lost. At the continued rate of settlement, and some of the issues that we're starting to discover, we're not sure how much longer we can occupy this building. Uh, we just discovered in the past week significant sewer issues. Board President Kevin Phelps says they've been unable to find another facility in Tacoma that's zoning and permits can handle their needs. But they aren't giving up hope. That's why they didn't destroy the lighthouse. They plan to tarp it and reinstall it once the lawsuit is settled and the building is repaired. In Tacoma, Elisa Jaffe, Como 4 News. Sound Transit told us it can't use taxpayer dollars to pay for damages it didn't cause. The rescue mission's insurance is covering the cost of today's lighthouse removal.